really staggering. It's a staggering amount of waste of taxpayer money. Um, and if, if we're, you know, for any given expenditure, we have to say, well, what does this do for the citizens of America? Like, how is this good for the people of America? That's, it's their money. Like, for some weird reason, a lot of, you know, a lot of people in uh, the sort of, you know, state or whatever, the politicians, they, they, they seem to forget that the money being spent is, is your money. And, and if it's not spending, being spent in a way that is beneficial to the American people, it's a misuse of the funds. Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk calling out wasteful government spending while campaigning for former President Trump in Battleground, Pennsylvania last night. I spoke with Trump on Sunday Morning Futures and we discussed his plans for cutting spending and working with Elon Musk. Watch this. But you've also said that there's a lot of fat in government that you would want to slim Incredible down. Incredible fat. So, so what agencies yeah. would you want to shut down? Well, let me, let me uh, have you ask another person that because I'm going to have Elon Musk. He's... He is dying to do this. He's a great business guy, and he's a great cost cutter. And he said, I could cut costs without affecting anybody. So he will be in the cabinet? Not in the cabinet. He just wants to be in charge of cost cutting. We'll have a new position, Secretary of Cost Cutting. Secretary of Cost Cutting. Joining me now is Texas Congressman Jody Arrington. He's the chairman of the House Budget Committee and a member of the House Ways and Means Committee, uh, along with the Joint Economic Committee. Mr. Chairman, great to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Good you were the first member of Congress to endorse the proposed Trump Musk Government Efficiency Commission. And now Trump says he's going to create this new position, Secretary of Cost Cutting. Uh, tell us what needs to be done, Mr. Chairman. Well, it's music to my ears, obviously. Uh, the only way we're going to get out of the uh, inflationary firestorm is to start with reining in spending. There's tremendous hundreds of billions, if not trillions of dollars in low hanging fruit to right size the bloated bureaucracy after COVID. So let's just rescind the unspent COVID monies. Start there. There's $236 billion, Maria, in wasteful and fraudulent spending in entitlement programs, namely health care and welfare. Mm -hmm. One example, uh, the child tax credit that you hear talked about a lot wastes uh, 33 cents on the dollar, and that's one of many programs where monies aren't getting to the intended beneficiary, but are just squandered. And I can't think of a better approach than to have entrepreneurs and CEOs from the private sector who could never compete and stay in business if they didn't um, run a lean and efficient and cost-effective organization. We're long overdue for this. I have a balanced budget. My committee passed twice. It's got trillions in savings. It's a pro-growth, pro-work, pro-energy uh, budget because growth is going to be a part of bringing our over World War II levels of indebtedness down uh, to a sustainable path. So I'm excited about this. Again, a long list of, of things to do to right size the people's government and uh, make sure that our children will not inherit the whirlwind of a debt crisis, but have the freedoms and the land of opportunity that we've enjoyed. And, and of course, we've seen the impact of reckless spending. I believe the Democrats led $7 trillion in spending. Uh, on Kamala Harris and Joe Biden's watch, which taught, uh, sent inflation to 40-year highs. Listen, it was their reckless spending combined with their failed economic policies. Mm. They were paying people not to work. They right. were assaulting the lifeblood of our economy in energy, and they were taxing and regulating our job creators into the ground. So mm. it was a combination. But listen, $2 trillion dollars. Uh, of the eight trillion in record uh, deficit spending that has occurred under the Biden Harris administration happened unilaterally. That was executive actions, two trillion dollars of which is funding illegal immigrants with quote free health care tens of billions of dollars. It's about $150 billion on an annual basis, 9,000 per illegal immigrant. That's more than we spend on Medicaid for the most vulnerable American citizen. There's a long list, Maria. There's a well, long I list mean, and we gotta get aggressive about this, it. This issue has been really upsetting American citizens given the fact that we just got through two major hurricanes and Alejandro Mayorkas said that FEMA might not make it through the hurricane season. They're running out of money, why? 
because we believe that they spent much of that money on illegal migrants. You just said uh, as well all this spending in terms of illegal migrants. Why? What is this obsession with a wide open border? It, I, well, I think it's they think there's some electoral advantage, obviously, because there's no there's no other way to justify it. I, I think they have created this. It's a self-inflicted crisis. Uh, the biggest problem is the immediate threat to the safety and security of the American people. But it's also shifted the focus. It's like a whole of government focus to deal with the fallout from this crisis, including uh, $1.6 billion in monies from FEMA spent on on housing and food and transportation, by the way. And uh, so it's a, it's a misappropriation of, of tax dollars, but it's a misguided focus for the federal government. They're prioritizing illegal immigrants over our own people in their, in their biggest time of need. And we can quantify that, but the American people understand what's going on. And uh, that, that's why they're going to, I believe, pick a new leader who will prioritize their needs and their country. Mm. Congressman, it's great to see you this morning. We so appreciate it. We're going to be watching your work. We know how urgent all of these issues are. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Maria. All Good right. to be with you. We will see you soon. Jody Arrington joining us this morning. Quick